OpenAI is a business, not a nonprofit like it started out as. And that's clear from reading the 98 page paper on GPT 4, which masquerades as a research paper but truly serves as marketing material. There's a secret sauce in GPT 4 that is being guarded. There were absolutely no details shared about the underlying model. Now, it is understandable that they want to preserve their competitive advantage, especially since Google is trying to punch back with their own. AI features, which include drafting emails and summarizing docs, but OpenAI's secrecy is a bit ironic. Since the 2017 Transformer research paper released by Google is the main reason GPT was able to get this good in the first place, it's likely from Microsoft's influence that OpenAI is being a bit less open. I guess they should change their name to Closed AI. It's hard to say that GPT-4 is overhyped when it can literally create a small website from a hand-drawn picture. Make no mistake, this technology will revolutionize the world. It's already doing that but I don't think it's quite as powerful as the hype is making it out to be. Only 70% of the time people prefer GPT-4's response over GPT-3.5's, which is the model currently powering ChatGPT. It shows that GPT-4 isn't objectively better. It's analogous to asking two friends for help. One of the friends might be smarter, but they aren't always more helpful. When it comes to factual accuracy though, it's definitely an improvement, but still not perfect. It does still hallucinate, aka make shit up. It can ace law exams and do basic taxes, yet it can't even solve leak code problems. But to be fair, neither can you. But seriously, if you don't believe me, look at this. I asked GPT-4 a pretty trivial coding question and it revealed that it can't even do basic arithmetic. If I was interviewing someone and they messed this up, I wouldn't just fail them. I would wonder if they even went to elementary school. Now, as someone Someone who solved over 500 leak code questions, I think I know why. Generative AI is good at parsing, summarizing, and regurgitating text, but it's not good at original thinking. That's why it can interpret tax code, but it can't solve problems using logical reasoning. And leak code problems are well defined and small in scope. If it can't solve them, then it definitely can't solve more open ended problems like designing large scale systems or traversing massive code bases. After all, the input size limit is about 25,000 words. Definitely impressive, but still a limiting factor. In terms of automating programmers, the bad news is it can read documentation and debug your code. The good news is it requires the documentation to be well written and up to date. So I think we're still safe. Of course it will improve, but the question is how quickly. Self-driving cars were supposed to replace taxi drivers a long time ago but the date just keeps getting pushed out. It'll probably happen eventually, but as developers, we know that the last 10% of a project is always the hardest part. GPT-4 will immediately improve productivity, which yes, may lead to fewer jobs in some industries, but when will it be trusted enough to completely replace programmers or lawyers or accountants? Not very quickly in my opinion. We were all impressed by Amazon Alexa 10 years ago, but its progress has clearly plateaued. So the question is, what are the limits of generative AI? And there's not a single person alive who knows the answer to that.